What's up you guys, welcome to this channel. Today we're talking about admission point score, APS. APS is a score calculated from your metric marks. It is used by universities to determine whether you qualify for an admission to their courses. Each university has its own way of determining this score and there are different requirements for the different courses. It is important to know that the APS score does not guarantee admission to a university. It is a minimum requirement to be considered with other criteria such as the correct choice of subject and the bachelor's pass for metric, and whether there is a space on the course you have chosen. Some universities also have an entry test such as the NBT, National Benchmark Test. But the bottom line is that you must meet the APS criteria of that university if you want to be considered for admission. Remember that your APS score is just an initial screening tool for the university so that they do not have to screen all the marks of the thousands of applicants they get each year. If you have got past the initial mark, they will be looking at your application forms, letters and emails. So make sure you do this properly and give a good account of yourself. To calculate your APS score, you'll need to add your six best subjects, excluding life orientation. The points you get for each course will depend on the percentage you score in that particular subject. The APS score is the total points you receive from each course. Most universities use a 1 to 7 rating. This matches the rating you will see on your metric results. E.g. a mark of 70% shows S level 6. So this is just an example of how you would calculate your scores. And you can see on life orientation, they put a dash because you don't calculate it in your APS score. Some universities do count life orientation, but perhaps give it a half the points. Some universities also give extra points for some subjects. For example, an extra two points to mathematics or English. When you are applying for the first time and you do not have your final metric marks, you must submit your grade 11 marks. A quick recap, remember the following. You have to match the APS score of a qualification provided by the university in order to study that course. Study hard. Studying harder means better grades. Better grades mean a better chance of getting a good APS score. Remember, every university has a different APS standard. You know what you want to study. There's no harm in doing some research on what various universities offer in terms of similar courses. So you must do your research and compare institutions and APS scores requirements. Thank you for watching. I hope this information will help you when you're making your application for undergraduate or postgraduate studies at a university of your choice. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, it's bye for me.